Hey gangsters, it's just me and look, my cake didn't bubble over. I was so scared it was going to raise above the pan and it's still screaming hot. I just got it out of the oven and what I'm going to do is I got a can of Betty Crocker um, fudge frosting and I'm going to poke holes in the top of the cake while the cake's still hot and pour this onto the top and then by the time the cake is all cool then it'll be ready. For the decoration part of the frosting, this is orange frosting. It's got little doodads on the top, little sprinkles. So let's do this. Poke, 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 poke. Gotta hurry up and poke it. I gotta get to the dollar store here in a few minutes. Because I need something from the dollar store. I need a big bowl to put the Halloween candy in. Because my other big bowl got broken. So I have to do that. I got so much stuff to for the kids this year. Yeah, I want to make sure I have all this covered up with holes. So then it's nice and sweet inside. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, now I want to pour this on the top. And hopefully it'll sink down into the holes. I don't know, I might have to poke some more holes in this. So the frosting seems to be trying to run off the side of the pan here. You know, nothing's perfect. This is just homemade. Well, semi-homemade box mix, you know, but hey, I didn't buy it. And I don't really think there's a lot of chemicals in these box mixes. I may be wrong, so correct me if I am. It's getting almost time for a trick or treat, so that's why I gotta get to the dollar store and get what I need really quick. Yeah, the icing's going down into these holes. Good. Yeah, because this is like a really thick cake. So one little thin layer of icing across the top wouldn't do it. So yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Oh. It's tripping off the side over there. I bet you you guys out there are better cake bakers than I am. I just wing it. I don't really care what it looks like as long as it tastes good, but this is going to be interesting when we cut it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you an aerial view. Okay, see the little holes in the cake? It's got the little holes. The idea is to get the frosting to go down into these little holes. So anyway, that is my other step. And this might be one, one video because I have a cell phone, so I don't know if I can come back to it. So I'm going to try to, but if I can't, and I'll see you next video when we decorate it and cut it.